टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट क्लास टेंथ फिजिक्स लाइट रिफ्लेक्शन एंड रिफ्रैक्शन इन दिस चैप्टर वी हैव टू स्टडी अबाउट रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट बिफोर दैट लेट्स नो वॉट इज लाइट बेसिकली लाइट इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी विच प्रोड्यूस सेंसेशन ऑफ विजन इन अवर आईज विद द हेल्प ऑफ लाइट वी आर एबल टू सी डिफरेंट थिंग्स इन दिस ब्यूटिफुल वर्ल्ड लाइट सीम्स टू ट्रेवल इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन अ स्मॉल सोर्स ऑफ लाइट कास्ट अ शार्प शेडो ऑफ एन ओपेक ऑब्जेक्ट पॉइंट टू दिस स्ट्रेट लाइन पाथ ऑफ लाइट यूजली इंडिकेटेड एज अ रे ऑफ लाइट लाइट इज thought of a wave while in some cases light is thought of a stream of particles hence light is said to be having a dual nature the quantum theory of light reconciles the particle property of light and its wave properties now first thing which we have to be quite familiar with this fact that you see your image on the or you can see different objects from your day to day life what how you are able to see you are able to see because of reflection of light now what is this reflection of light you have already studied in your lower classes about reflection of light reflection of light is the phenomena of sending back of light in the same medium when it falls on the surface of the object here this is the incident ray this incident ray when it falls on this reflecting surface this ray is reflected back in the same medium this dotted line which is here this indicates the normal this the angle between the incident ray and the normal this we call it as angle of incidence and the angle between the reflected ray and the normal we call it as angle of reflection now based on this reflection of light we are having two laws of reflection what are that first the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal at the point of incidence all lie in the same plane and second the angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection here we can understand it with some other way that if we take three rays and one will be there another is like this and this three the three will be in the same plane that is what we the first law says and the second law what it says that whatever the may be the angle between the incident ray and the normal that will be equal to the reflected ray and the normal now here one simple example is given that if suppose a ray of light falls normally on like this normally on the mirror or a reflecting surface then how the ray will be reflected the ray will be reflected back along the same path the reason is since the normal is also along the same line and that's why the angle of incidence will be 0 degree and as per the laws of reflection angle of reflection will also be 0 degree and therefore this ray will be reflected back in the same medium along the same path now let's talk about the image formation by a mirror now you are quite familiar with this fact that you have seen every day you are watching your mirror now when you are watching your mirror you are able to see the image similarly you are watching a movie there the projector projects this everything on the screen so the two images which you are observing in this two cases are two different types of images now the image which you are observing in a mirror every day that is a virtual image and the image which we are obtaining it on a screen in a movie theater that image is a real image now what is the basic difference between these two images first thing that a real image can be obtained or caught on a screen while a virtual image we cannot caught it on a screen second thing whenever we talk about a re real image it is always formed inverted while a virtual image is formed erect and the last thing which is very important a real image is formed when a ray of light after reflection or refraction from the mirror actually meets and virtual image is formed when the ray is extended in a backward direction then when you see a image when you see a image you are watching your mirror every day yes in that case how you are observing your image if you have noticed that you will see that your image can be seen in the mirror but 
you are not able to get it on some wall or on a screen or something like that so that image is virtual second thing the image which is the image which is kept here here one example is shown which you have done in class 8 that this are the this is a object this are the two incident rays so this two rays are reflected as per the laws of reflection but these two rays are moving away from each other and that's why the image is formed at this point so this image which is there that is the image which you see in the mirror so this image is a virtual image now when you see your image in a mirror you are able to see your image erect that is as with the way you are standing the same way you are able to see your image so that's why the first point image is virtual and erect then second point your size of the whatever will be the size of the object the same size of image is seen in the mirror so that is the image is of same size as that of the object similarly when you are standing in front of the mirror whatever may be the distance is there your distance from the mirror your image will be seen at the same distance at the back of the mirror so thus what we can say the image is at the same distance behind the mirror as object is in front of it similarly one more thing which you observe is the image is laterally inverted now what do you mean by this lateral inversion lateral it lateral inversion is a phenomena in which the left side of the object appears as right side in the image and right side of the object appears as left side in the image is called lateral inversion here one picture is shown here you can see that the right hand side of the boy is seen to be left hand in the mirror this is the this is again one more example we in your day to day life where you can see the lateral inversion you are seeing the ambulance now in the ambulance front side the ambulance is written that is written in a different way you will see that it is written something inverted so that when a person who is in the front vehicle that person when he sees in his mirror the back side ambulance he can get, see the ambulance written correctly and that's why he can give the sign and that's why he can do uh, the vehicle can move very fast so this is how we are able to get the image